The music scene has also improved in the last few years. Under the Taliban, Afghanistan was dubbed a silent country. Today it's a much more colorful place. The TV channels show plenty of music and entertainment programs, which attract a large audience. In the last few years, international program formats have found their way on Afghan television and people can now enjoy popular shows such as Who Wants to Be a Millionaire every week on domestic channels. Afghanistan now has its first rock band in three decades. Even though they were all born in Afghanistan, the band only sing in English, as they say they want to convey a message of peace to the outside world. I meet the band members and I speak to Suleiman Kardosh, the lead singer, who is also the youngest at 18 years old. Maktab music era da sal 2006 khalas kara bodam da Uzbekistan. Dige fikr mekunam takriban az salay 2004 2005 yakama ke jiddi tar da ye chiz kar kardam yani masala avval yakama ke کورس ها می رفتیم کورس موسیقی فقط عادی بود یعنی حال و مکتب باید از یکم فکر کردم که خودم دعی پیدا کردم یعنی می خواستم کمی رشتر پیش ببرم گروه کابل دریمز چی وقت ایجاد شد و در واقع هدف اصلیش چی بود؟ گروه کابل دریمز ما در 2008 ماه دسمبر بود تقریبا در اون وقت گروه ای گروه رو تشکیل کردیم یک روز شیشتی فقط جمع کردیم اما ما گیتار ما آوردم و بعض موسیقی که خودم در کلیم بود و خودم هم ساخته بودم اونا را با اونا کار کردیم و چیز بد نبود یعنی خوش ما آمد مثلا خوش اونا هم آمد بچه ها گفتن که حالا موسیقی بد نیست یک امی صدای خوب بود و گفتن که حالا چرا یک گروه جور نکنیم چون من خودم در همی فکر بودم میخواستم یک گروه جور کنم و خود بچه هم در همی فکر بودن که باز از این وقت شروع کردیم و حساسه گروه رو تشکیل دادیم خود گوینده خبرم هستی در یکی از رسانه های شخصی افغانستان چطوری دو کار با هم پیش میبریم بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم آریانا تلویزیون ایت کورچوار السلام علیکم همون تو رادی یعنی روز میرم خبر میخوانم و شب هم روان داریم و خبر میخوانیم یعنی در این عرصه هم خودم یک دفعه کوشش کردم که خودم نشان بدم ولی نه این فهمیدم که قضاوت از مردم است که خوب میگم یا مثلا خبر چه قسمی میگم دیگه سلمان جان در مورد اولین آلبومتون بگو که قرار است منتشر شو و یعنی این آلبومتون فکر میکنی که چقدر فروش خواهد داشت و مردم چقدر را میپسندند این آلبوم این آلبوم ای پی آلبوم است اکسند پلی در داخلش پنج دانه آهنگای ما است و به نام ای وان ران اوی ما میخوایم فرار کنیم یا ما میخوایم مگر ما نمیخوایم فرار کنیم فقط یک آهنگ است چون دیگه هیچ چیز نیست توقع زیاد داریم یعنی از این آهنگ سر ای آلبوم جوات حساب میکنیم یعنی چون ما بسیار زیاد تلاش کردیم ثبت اینجا کردیم در استودیو وایس مایستر ما ثبت کردیم و امروز بچا خود ما همین سه نفر کل ما ثبت کردیم لایو بر میکس آلبوم ما، میکس ما سرینگ همی آلبوم ما، ما رفتم ازبکستان چون قرار بود که اول کل گروه بره و از این مشکلات ها بود مشکلات ویزا و ترانسپورت و مادی یعنی ما کار کردیم تلاش آخر ما را کردیم یعنی توقع زیاد داریم یعنی And it's not just the men who are in the music business. Women have also defied tradition and are making a living in the entertainment industry. <laughs> For 
Farida Tarana is both a politician and a singer. ما تقریبا چهار نیم سال پیش ما به صورت علنی یک آواز خوانده بودم و با او شدت برخورد هایی که برخورد کرده بودم و دیده بودم مثبت و منفی در این دوره که این فقط چهار سال میگذره بسیار راحت تر هستن مردم و این شیوه کار هر نظام و هر, هر, هر مملکت است که یک چیز نو در اول با بسیار برخورده شدید است ما با یک دموکراسی نوپایی هستیم در افغانستان که همه چیز فقط در حالت شعار هست هنوز هم اما ای بودن خانم در اجتماع و به قول آمیانه ای, ای, ای سماجت خود خانم هست که اونا رو نقشش پر رنگ کدن خواهیم که ای را ثابت بکنم که یک دختر افغان با او تحقیرهایی که در زمان طالبان می شد که حتی حق درس خواندن نداشت با حفظ تمام کرامت ها و تمام او خواست دخترانگیش می تونه واقعا یک آدم موفق در اجتماع خودش باشه و بالخصوص به جهانیان که با یک دید دیگه برای افغانستان می دیدن و من هنر سیاست از هم دور نمی بینم بسیار نزدیک است و تا امروز بسیار موفق بودیم در جامعه که تا دیروز یک دختر حق نداشت آواز خدا بکشه امروز نه تنها که آهنگ خواند اما درس سیاست هم پشتیبان زیادی داشت که در شورای ولایتی من خوشبختانه دومین آرای بلند در سطح کابل داشت بزرگترین آرزویتان برای کابل چیست؟ آرزوی نیست که در کنار هم خوب و آزاد و همیشه سر بلند باشن و بالخصوص افغانستان ما میخوایم یک افغانستان باشه مطرح در دنیا نه به خاطر جنگ به خاطر دستاوردهایی که در هر سخاست داشته باشه Farida's wish is still some way off for although the main fighting is many miles away from Kabul the city looks and feels like a war zone Take this building for example from the outside it looks like a security barracks but inside it is a different story most afghans are prohibited from entering these buildings unless they hold a european or american passport this is because of security issues Kabul Health Club is one of the luxurious clubs in Kabul city where foreigners and few afghans come to enjoy However, in Kabul, there could be thousands of families who cannot afford these places. Salam. 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 How are you? Salam. Good. 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 فارسی فارسی اینجا یک علاشگاه دارم اصلاح ما مردانه و زنانه سپا تریتمنت هر تریتمنت وی هاف اورسو مساج اتاق مساج اتاق فیشل است اصلاح مو مردانه چند میگیرین مثلا 500 افغانی 500 افغانی که دلار بله آها از خانم ها چقدر از خانم ها تقریبا 30 دلار یک هز... یک هزار آبان. فکر میکنی که اقتصاد مردم افغانستان به او حد است که او بتانن میتونن بله میتونن به خاطر که من مراعاتا با امرای مردم افغانستان امو قیمت میگرم اگر میری هتل بان ستارا زیاد میگرم شما خودتان از کجا سین هستم؟ من از فلسطین هستم از فلسطین هستم و اینجا مورد افغانستان کار میکنم بله اینجا کار میکنم Kabul evenings have also changed. Only a few years ago, this city didn't have any electricity at all. But all of that has now changed. Especially here, this place is full of lights. And some people even call it the Las Vegas of Kabul. Today is a happy day. It is my cousin's wedding, and I'm his based man. But having an extravagant wedding party is far too expensive for most Afghans. You have to invite hundreds of people like this, and paying for the dowry is another large expense. <laughs>
مسئولیت تا اینده به دوش شما است که کدام گپ سخن شد درست است نک به نکای شنب بخانم اجاده است Traditionally, every groom has to have three parties like this. Each one can cost more than $10,000. Unfortunately, we can't film the women's party. Only very close male relatives are allowed in. Over the last few years, I have returned to Kabul regularly, and every time I come back, I have seen improvements. But what people need most now is security, which is much more important to them than food or welfare. And will they eventually enjoy Kabul? Everyone is hopeful, and so am I. Tahir is with me now. Tahir, welcome. Now, well, let's start there. That looked like hard work. It, yeah, it did. <laughs> it was so hard. Um, this is your home city. Mm -hmm. How do you see it represented on the news channels? Mm -hmm. What do you recognize about your home city from the news? Uh, well, I have, been lived, I have been working with media for quite a long, a long time now, when I was only a kid. And then, you know, every time I was just watching Afghanistan on news channels, I was not really happy with the pictures they show, because they just associate the name of Afghanistan with poverty, with fighting, with the street children, and then, you know, with, with people, you know, wearing turbans on the streets. However, the real picture of Afghanistan is not like that. So, therefore, I, I always just wanted to do something different, to show a, a, a different picture. I mean, I, I don't want to really exaggerate, no. but just show the, the ordinary life of people. Well, give me an example. Give me an example of something you saw in Kabul that I won't get from watching the news Well, channel. the whole film, actually. For example, I hang out with my friends. He goes to tennis club. He, for example, takes me to some shopping malls where just they get the, 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 the new brands, like, you know, you know, like Zara or whatever. So, which is really, I mean, you can't believe that people might get You're it right. Out. I would never see that on the news channels. But is he representative, your friend? Is he a privileged, middle-class, unusual friend? Well, not, not really. I mean, I haven't picked up unusual people in this film. Just I have gone on the streets and I have chosen the people who are actually living their, you know, their, their normal lives. So he's not really unusual. I mean, you could say your film presents a positive view. Does that represent a mood that you've, you've sensed in Kabul? I would suggest that the, the mood of the city must be very troubled. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, a country that has, you know, uh, encountered war for at least three decades, you know, a country which has been completely destroyed. So whatever, any movement now is really positive. So what I have done in my film, I have just gone through the ordinary life of people. I have just, you know, hanged around with people and I have just, you know, gone to their houses to see how they live. So therefore, I, I would believe that, you know, the, this, the picture that I have shown in this film does represent today's Kabul's face, really. Certainly one side of it. And what about your biggest surprise? You've been living in the UK three years only. Here you are back to make a film. What was something that took you by surprise? What really surprised me is that we always hear that people are really nervous about things, but when you get into people, they're quite happy. They are just having completely the same life as we do here in England. Security? Did you have well, any problems? Security-wise, I mean, Insecurity is miles and miles away from Kabul. That's mainly in the south. But we did, did you know, face some problems, like, you know, our camera was once, you know, uh, uh, confiscated because they thought that, you know, because the camera was with our driver and they thought that uh, it might have explosives inside. But no, it was sorted out. So we didn't have any more problems, really. And did you, do you want to move back there, having been there? Would you like to go back? Well, of course I do, yeah. I mean, I love to go and live there and m do more films. I'm planning to do another film soon. Hopefully, just, you know, I want to show, I don't want to show really a colorful picture, an exaggerating picture to the outside world, but just I want to show how people live there. They have lots of problems, I know. There is poverty, people are struggling to work, uh, there is unemployment. But on the other side of the, 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 the wall, the people are living, they are living, living really peace, peacefully. 
Tahir, thank you very much indeed. Thank you so much. Zare, shash khalas kar badam da Uzbekistan. Dige, fikr mein kram, takriban asarai da zare. چهار دوزار پنج یک همه که جدی تر به یک چیز کار کردم یعنی مثلا اول یک همه که کورس ها می رفتیم کورس موسیقی فقط عادی بود یعنی حال و مکتب بعد از یک همه که فکر کردم که خودم در این پیدا کردم یعنی می خواستم کمی رشتر پیش ببرم گروه کابل جیمز چی وقت ایجاد شد و در واقع هدف اصلیش چی بود؟ گروه کابل جریمز ما در 2008 ماه دسمبر بود تقریبا در اون وقت گروه ای, ای گروه رو تشکیل کردیم یک روز شیش فقط جمع کردیم اما ما گیتار ما آوردم و بعض موسیقی که خودم بکلیم بود و خودم هم ساخته بودم اونا را Even though they were all born in Afghanistan, the band only sing in English, as they say they want to convey a message of peace to the outside world. I meet the band members and I speak to Suleiman Kardash, the lead singer, who is also the youngest at 18 years old. have found their way on Afghan television and people can now enjoy popular shows such as Who Wants to be a Millionaire every week on domestic channels. <laughs> Afghanistan now has its first rock band in three decades. The music scene has also improved in the last few years. Under the Taliban, Afghanistan was dubbed a silent country. Today it's a much more colorful place. The TV channels show plenty of music and entertainment programs, which attract a large audience. <laughs> In the last few years, international program formats 